Marriage is a magnifier. It's either going to magnify the good or it's going to magnify the misery. But it itself will not correct the issues that already exist in a relationship. And boy, are there some issues people are facing when it comes to being married. But not because marriage is bad. As far as I'm concerned, marriage is an amazing, beautiful thing that I honestly believe more people need to embrace. But that's only when you marry the right person for the right reasons. And you have the right foundation in place to have a successful relationship. Now, the reality is that I would argue most people have married the wrong person. It's just an unfortunate reality. And to be more specific, a lot of women have married, and I have to use the word, knowingly married the wrong man. Now, I say knowingly because deep inside, when I sit down with these women, divorcees, even women currently in their marriages, it's not that they never knew that there was issues, not that they never sensed something was wrong, but they wanted to believe in the good. They wanted to believe things could get better or even worse, they thought things could change. And that's the issue here. We've got to start understanding that we cannot try to go from relationship to marriage, sweeping under the rug the issues, thinking it's going to change or get better. Thinking that man will now magically figure it out after you decide to marry him. So you've got to start to accept or, or recognize even better when you're dealing with a man you do not need to marry or to hell, even be in a relationship with, but let's make it about marriage. So one of those habits, and before I mention it, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. One of those habits of a man you should not marry is he's complacent. All right. Now, I want to read you the exact definition bef before I break this down. All right. The definition of complacent is showing smug or uncritical, I really want to highlight that, uncritical satisfaction with oneself and one's achievements. All right. So you, you heard me mention how women a lot of times get married thinking or hoping for things to change. Not understanding that they're dealing with a complacent man, a man who does not see the need to change. And let's not even use the word change. He's not even seeing the need to grow. He's not seeing the need to evolve. He thinks where he's at is not just good enough. There's not a damn thing wrong with it. Notice because he's complacent. He has uncritical satisfaction. He doesn't hear a damn thing you have to say about where he is. And I've seen so many women really convince themselves that they will be able to pull this man out of his complacency and make him into greater, or I can show him or motivate him to reach his full potential. But if he is complacent, he sees no need to go higher than what he is. So here's one example. I, I remember doing a quote on IG recently about would you marry a man? And I think I want to say I said $40,000, okay? Would you marry a man who's making $40,000? And I said the words for the rest of his life, all right? And I did that for a reason. And I got a lot of responses from women saying, oh, as long as he has the right mindset, even though I already told you it's, it's capped at 40 grand, right? If he has the right mindset, he has a plan in place, I also heard, oh, I can help him to get better. A lot of the women who voted yes, they would take that man, took him with the condition in their mind that it still would change. Rather than accepting the reality, he does not want to change. And we've got to realize, and this is not just a woman thing. In life, I have learned certain people are not wired to desire more. Certain people don't have that level of ambition, all right? They are literally okay where they are. And I'm not saying this to talk down on these people or to make them seem bad or evil because I'm going to explain how complacency isn't always this horrible thing when you look at it from a different perspective. But I've met people who can make the same amount of money every year, 
and it's a low amount or what may be considered low to many. But to them, it meets their needs. They're okay with it, all right? And this is where you've got to start understanding the, the where it's not even just complacency anymore. It's their content. They are literally content with where they are. And when you try to get with a man like this, even more so marry him, you've got to really ask yourself, am I okay if this never changes? Am I okay? Can I be content with his level of contentment? Can, can I accept where he sees his peak, not where I want to drag him to? Because if you catch yourself or put yourself in a scenario where you're trying to drag him past the complacency, past that place of being content, you now will create an unnecessary burden on yourself and be extremely frustrated because you're essentially dragging him kicking and screaming. And on his end, he will develop a very strong resentment because you are not accepting him where he is. And again, if you think marriage is going to make him step up even more. Well, hell, we, we're going to have maybe kids one day and this and that. No. If his mind, if his wiring says this level's okay, you got to either, again, can you take it for what it is or no? So if he is complacent and you know you want more than what he is accepting, this is not a man to marry. This is not a man to entertain. And you've got to really understand and accept that. Now, listen, I do think that a man can change. I do think that there are men who meet women and they are inspired. But I do believe that those men who want more, they already have something in them that wants it. Sometimes they need a kick in the pants. Sometimes they need some good encouragement and support. But they already have a wiring within that says, go for more. And so this is why it's very important to evaluate it on, from that end of, okay, how are they really built? But it's more important that they find this within themselves because now here's the other problem. If this is a scenario where you can help push him, if you are the thing, the only thing that helps get him to the next level, then now you put the burden on you to always have to put him on your back and get him there. Like, don't get me wrong. As a woman, when, when you get with the right guy, I, I do believe, as I said, marriage can magnify and it can magnify the good. And if he has that work ethic, that desire, that ambition, you can magnify it. But if you are the only source of what motivates him. It's not his purpose. It's not a desire for self. It's not, it's nothing else but you. Then when you want a day off from having to push and, and motivate, what's he gonna do, slack off now? Now he doesn't have it in him? When you're not staying on top of him and, and, and saying you gotta do this, you gotta do this. Like, you, you don't wanna have to deal with that forever. Now, listen, if you're gonna tell me that's okay for you for the rest of your life to always be the one pushing, 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 all right, cool. Do your thing. But what I have seen is that women, women don't mind giving a push, but they don't want to have to carry. You understand? They don't want to have to continuously carry this man. So to, to wrap this point up, if he is complacent and content and you are not accepting of the level that he has embraced in his life, that is not a man you should marry. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here, and I'll see you there. Sometimes men can be confusing as hell. I'm just going to put it out there because I know many of you have experienced it where you don't understand what he's thinking, you don't understand what he wants. He may not always be straightforward about it. And